The specters at the Brocken are haunting this area, attacking the harmless faux fire lights. If you defeat some specters, perhaps the faux fire lights will know you're on their side. When you defeat that specter, it releases a captured faux fire light. The faux fire light is bobbing and weaving as if it wants your attention. It bobs and weaves cheerfully. The faux fire light seems to understand your quest. It illuminates a path for you right into the lost abbey. By the horned crown, who disturbs my melancholy? I shall feed on your mana and leave your body a husk for the beetles. But 
shadow is lifted. I am transformed. Stranger, you have broken my madness. Let us speak outside this accursed place. Valiant knight errant, how can I repay your good deed? My tragedy has been lost to the mists of time. Suffice it to say, I knew joy and sorrow before the time of King Artorius. But when the vile Pendragon, Lord of the Wild Hunt, rose to power, his shadow twisted me and my brother ghosts to evil. The Sword of Kings! <laughs> we gave it to the Pendragon's horned ones just before you liberated me. They secured it in a fraudling wagon and went down the path. Hurry, and you might catch them. Oh no! Something terrible happened to the wagon before you could do something terrible to it. As you get closer... You think you hear a wee tiny voice crying for help. Oh, help! Can any brave soul hear me? You heard me! Hooray! I beg your help, brave big one. Our village is in that tree, and we cannot douse the magical flames consuming it. Please collect some arcane water from the rainbow fountain and use it to quench the flames. The arcane water from the rainbow fountain sparkles with its own light. You collect a sample. You hope it will be enough. You got back just in time. You soaked the tree with the arcane water you collected. There's a loud hiss and a billow of white steam. For a second, you can't see anything. Big one, you saved us. I saw the wagon attack my death seraphs. They crushed the Horned Ones with their infernal flames and stole a great sword. The Death Seraphs flew to the burial ground. This trail leads to it, but I must warn you. And you'll need to face the Etin, both of his faces, to get there. If you get by the Etin, there's a friendly ghost in the burial ground called Bridget. She can help you find the Death Seraphs. Smell a wizard. Come closer and let me grab a hold of you, wee one. I said come closer. You are not scared of me, Gyre and Gimbal. You hear that thunder? It is my stomach. It is long empty. I recall the savory tang of roast mutton from the Froudling village. Perhaps you want to get past me, but I cannot hear your words because my stomach is so loud. Fetch me a pot of mutton.
bring it to me. Ah, oh, there is. I see you retrieved it. Please bring it closer. <laughs> Let us bargain, wizard. The mutton, pah, was but charity. A devilish leprechaun lured me here to be turned to stone by the sun. A cloak of raven shadows can free me. First, scavenge raven feathers from the Froudling village. Then, you'll need to battle wildfire treants for ashes and tormented treants for twisted branches. Take it to the devil Shane McGobbin. He can make the cloak, and in return, I'll vow not to arm a leprechaun again. Raven feathers, wildfire ashes, and twisted branches. And what you be needing a cloak of raven shadows for? That moth eating atin. He's mashed me people for more than a score of years. Eh, he's offering a vow of peace. All right, but make sure both heads swear, or we'll both be sorry. Here's your cloak. <laughs> hey, went for it. I mean, of course, I'll keep my vow. What do you mean I have to promise for my other head, too? What trickery is this? Didn't I? Fine, fine, fine. We vow never to harm a leprechaun again. We vow never to arm a leprechaun again. Happy? You helped us, wizard. I won't forget that. Me either. 
I'll remember you fondly as I pick your bones out of my teeth. No, no, no. A deal is a deal. The way is open to you, wizard. Head on to the burial ground and find your ghost, Bridget. Halt, defiler, or face my wrath. Oh, you are a knight errant and a friend to Sir Bellinos. I'm sorry, I am weak and my sight is no longer clear. I would help you, but Fraudlings stole carved markers from my tomb and my own weapons. This has reduced my power. Retrieve my carved markers from the Fraudling village and fight the Spriggans for my weapons. Then I can aid you. Weapons? Ginther has them in her warren, that tower over there.
kind wizard. to have these returned. If you are able to restore my tomb with the carved markers and weapons you retrieved, I believe I will be able to guide you. With my tomb restored, my essence is replenished. I can see clearly now. Your path lies there, into the Tomb of the Nameless. That is where the Death Seraphs took your sword. The tomb was built for a wealthy knight, but his name was erased from history for crimes that were beyond the pale. This dungeon will test you, wizard, for the Nameless is the one who betrayed Artorius and caused the Great King's death. Enter the tomb and confront the Nameless Knight for your sword. Despoiler, spoiler, you shall join us in our everlasting torment. The knight's name has been scratched out, but you can still make out the name of the tapestry, all the colors of descent. These markers record a knight's rise and fall. Once you set the final marker in the correct order, you hear the doors grind open. Who are you, child? A wizard playing at being a knight? Your quest is at an end. You found the Sword of Kings, and your demise. 
Mallory, this blessed weapon is not for the likes of you. I may be trapped, but I am not powerless. The sword returns with me. Your crimes will not be forgiven, nor your name ever remembered. You. You did this, you thrice-doomed cur! of me. What have I done? Come, let us speak in the open air. I have lost so many things. I betrayed my oaths and vows and turned on King Artorius. For this, my wealth, my few good deeds, even my name were all taken. My wrongdoing may never be forgiven, but I still have the chance to do some good in the world. I will help you on your quest. Have you mastered the knightly virtues? There is a white heart trapped by the Fraudling village. Show mercy and free him.
poor creature stumbled into the bog and can't get out. If you don't free it, it's doomed. You get a rope around the heart and firmly pull it out of the muck. It tosses its head in thanks and then races off free. You showed mercy to the poor beast. That is in fact a sign of virtue. A knight must be loyal and must swear to be true to one's family, fellow knights, and liege. It is my deepest veiling. But perhaps there is someone in the world who I once aided who remains loyal to my memory. Ask Sophia Greensleeves if she remembers me. My favorite wizard, you aided me father and husband both. How can I help? Ma How could I forget? He murdered King Artorius and that cannot be forgiven. But he saved me mother from a giant's axe. If not for him, I'd not have known her songs and laughter. For that act alone, I'll always remember Mallory's name. She remembered me without malice? That eases the pain a little. The law of hospitality is one of the oldest tenets of Avalon. If you invite a guest in, their safety is supposed to be sacred. The Lady of the Blue Dahlia has broken this taboo by inviting knights into her tower and then ensorcelling them. Venture to the Tower of the Blue Dahlia and free her captive Sir Gerard Monmouth. Remind the Lady of the laws of hospitality. Alas, it pains me to greet you, good knight errant. I am compelled by the Lady of the Blue Dahlia to fight all who enter. Either I will kill you and prolong my curse, or you will defeat me. In that unlikely occurrence, you will take up my curse. is broken. Well fought, but now you will be forced to act as her champion until you are defeated. But wait, you are not a full knight. As a wizard, you might be able to challenge the Lady of the Blue Dahlia directly. If you best her, we would both be free.
my new champion. Let me look at you, Lavi. A wizard? You are no true knight, but a sneak thief trying to steal my treasures. I'll have your eyes. more, great wizard. I'll reform me ways and offer true hospitality to all travelers henceforth. You freed Sir Gerard Monmouth by challenging the Lady of the Blue Dahlia to a wizard duel. Well played. My road into shadow was twisted and marked with infamous deeds. I stole a divining treasure from the Three-Color Serpent. It then fell into the claws of a spiny spriggan in the Froudling village. As an act of justice, I need you to recover it.
you white-bellied worm! I'll slice you into fish bait! Treasure, take it and be gone with you, witchy child. I've not seen the divining treasure in a lifetime. It showed me a vision once, but in the end, I could not avoid my fate. We must return the divining treasure to the three-color serpent and ask his pardon. Keep your head high and show no fear. You'll find him in the chromatic tower by the rainbow fountain. Trepidation in you, but what do you have there? My divining treasure. I lost it years ago to the accursed Mallory. His spirit told you to return it to me. Hmm, how noble. As thanks, I will look into the divining treasure and tell you what you must know for your quest. A lost queen in a ring fort. She will help you rally the Rose Knights for your final push against the Pin Dragon. You did it. Good. The Lost Queen, you say? That can only mean your path leads to Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn can help you complete your knowledge of the Sword of Kings. She must be hiding at the Ring Fort, Tundara. I know it well. It is the ancient home of the Druids, where I grew up with my sister, Morganth. Do you know her? She was a clever child who had a smile that could melt Winter's heart. Though she also had a cruel streak. Oh, ghosts and cobwebs, never mind that. Scout out a path to Dundara and tell me what you find. A 
giant's tower perches on the path, like a gargantuan carrion bird. Perhaps Mallory has a cunning plan to get by it. From what you describe, Dunscaith still stands, the home of the unspeakable Indigo Giant. The Indigo Giant has a taste for all flesh. He must be preying on travelers to Dundara. Venture into his tower and slay him. What were you expecting? A cunning plan? Then, release his captives. This will show you are a friend to the druids who can guide you on to Dundara and Gwendolyn. By the skin of my teeth, a little wizard. I just put the pot on the fire, but I don't mind breaking me fast with something raw. shame of this defeat for a lifetime. Good wizard, you freed us from a terrible demise. How can we ever repay you? You are searching for Dundara? Let us show you the secret path, friend. Look for Aeolt when you arrive. <laughs> 